When we get a 911 call with a stroke patient, we do a neurological assessment to determine whether or not this patient is having a new stroke or an old stroke. And then we determine whether or not we're taking the patient to the local hospital or whether they're going to the regional stroke center. Okay, we're gonna get you onto our stretcher, okay? We are the only ones to pinpoint the time stroke symptoms set in. We're coming to your location with a male patient. Patient meets stroke protocol bypass. Dr. Belchus, yes. this is a stroke that's just arrived. It's in recess two down. Okay, great. Thank, thank you. you. I'll be right over. Okay, thank you. When we have one of the larger arteries in the brain blocked, we call that a large vessel occlusion. And these types of strokes actually have the highest mortality rate. So it's very important that we make the diagnosis quickly and get treatment started as early as possible. So in this particular instance, the patient met the criteria for a large vessel occlusion. And my job is to reach out to the stroke team to get treatment started right away and get the diagnosis fixed. I've got a 59-year-old gentleman with a two-hour history now of right-sided weakness. Seems like a perfect candidate for acute stroke therapy. The role of a neurologist in a stroke code is to orchestrate the team taking care of the patient. The first thing we'll need to do is meet with the patient and their family, where we'll assess them clinically to see how severe the stroke is. We then take the patient to a CT scanner, where we will see if there's a large blood clot that will make the patient eligible for therapy. Time is brain. The longer we wait to reinstate the blood flow in the brain, the more neurons will die. If you wait for one hour, your brain loses as many neurons as it would lose in four years of aging. In stroke imaging, the neuroradiologist has two roles. The first role is to do imaging of the patient, to identify how much brain tissue is dead and how much brain tissue can still be saved. The second role is to actually take the clot out. We insert a small needle in the groin. Through this needle, we insert a catheter, a tube. This catheter is advanced through the arteries in the body all the way to the arteries in the brain where the blockage is. We deploy what is called a stent retriever. With this, we can uh, take out uh, the blood clot. From the time that the patient contacts the EMS services, to the time that the EMS services arrives at the hospital, to the time that the patient arrives at the imaging, to the angio suite, every single minute is of importance. We finally have a treatment that is effective and that works in a very high percentage of patients. In fact, our data shows that we are halving the mortality and that we are doubling patients' good outcome when we use a stent retriever to reinstate the blood flow in the brain. Canada has been a leader in stroke treatment since the beginning. In the last two years, Canadian sites have mobilized rapidly to provide this therapy to as many people as possible. There have been dramatic improvements in the outcome of stroke patients. Many stroke patients are actually walking out of hospital and going back to their jobs and homes. Some have minor deficits, but many of these will heal easily.